So what are your retirement dreams? Do you want to downsize to a smaller house or get a beach condo? What if you sold your house and spent retirement living in hundreds of other people's homes? That's exactly what the senior nomads did when they retired in 2013 and they've been busy seeing the world ever since. So to share more, please welcome to the show Debbie and Michael Campbell. Yes. Hi. Thank you for having us. Debbie and Michael, I love this story. I did something very similar to you guys, and I hope to do that when I retire as well. So what were the first steps you two took to become full-time travelers? Well, it wasn't a plan. Um, our daughter was home visiting us in 2012 for Christmas. Somehow she got around to asking us if we ever heard of Airbnbs, and we had not. And so she showed us on uh, Debbie's laptop, hey, this is really cool, you could stay in other people's homes and travel around the world. Why don't you retire? And my first thought was, where did she think we were gonna get the money? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we kind of took it from there. Um, and she had an ulterior motive. She lives in Paris. So uh, I think uh, it was want yep. to get the grandparents mm -hmm. out of, um, closer to her. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people want to travel extensively and they do, but they always have the kind of like, well, they have a home base. So, the, you know, they always have some place to go back to. Were you nervous about not having a home base? I mean, when you sold your home, you're just out there now. You know, it didn't seem that risky to us. Um, it just, we had an idea that if we sold our home car, all our possessions, got rid of all of our normal monthly expenses in Seattle and instead took that money, um, could we travel the world for the same amount of money we would spend if we were retired um, in our rocking chairs in Seattle? And it, it turns out we were able to, we are able, and we have been now for 11 years. Man, I gotta tell you, I have a sibling who's a digital nomad and I am equal parts like nervous as I am super jealous. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's amazing. Now, you've been traveling the world for over 10 years. How many countries have you been to, and how many home shares have you stayed in? We've been to 94 countries, mm. and we've stayed in over 320, probably, Airbnbs so of cool. all types. So, oh um, little ones, big ones, um, crazy ones. We've stayed in boats, and we've been wow. in a cave, and we've been in a motor home in somebody's driveway, and <laughs> we've been... A lot of places. Look at that. All right, let me ask you this. Have you formed close friendships with any of your Airbnb hosts, or as I would call them, your Airbnb besties? Are you with any oh, of them? Besties. <laughs> you know, friendships, I mean, deep friendships, no. We did attend a wedding with one of our hosts, and we've um, gone to, well, Michael's gone to football events with some of our hosts, and I've cooked with some of our hosts. We, we happen to really want to meet our hosts. I know some Airbnb people just want to have a lock box and go into the house but for us that's our friend in the next city so we really lean on our airbnb hosts to help us as we travel the world that's amazing. i'm just going to throw this out here because my mother has fulfilled her dream of her little b and b airbnb situation so if you in the midwest i know a woman who would love to host <laughs> y'all yes. because i tell her all the time I'm like mom it, you can't be talking and like interacting with the guests you're not supposed to be a part of the experience and she's like oh they love it <laughs> so, yes. Devin, my, I, I, I know I know someone if you're in the Midwest area Ooh, okay. I like okay. that okay. Okay. take her yes. up on that mm -hmm. so I have to ask you Debbie Mike do you think that you'll ever stop traveling full-time you know COVID slowed us down a little bit so when we first started we were just racing around the world and then COVID slowed us down so we're kind of in a slower goer mode but stopping full-time not yet good for um, you we have something that we, we we say you say well first i think you should you know it's our health the health is number one um but as long as we're having fun and we're learning every day and we're staying healthy and we're staying within our budget and we're still in love uh, we plan on 
traveling as long as we can. Yeah. Good Look for at you, you guys. Look Lots at of newbies. This is, this is the goal. I, it's been I 40, 45 this. years. Oh my God. Congratulations. I love this, what yes. an inspiration. Debbie and Michael, thank you for joining us today. DBL Nation, to learn more about their travels, pick up a copy of their book, Your Keys, Our Home, Wherever Books Are Sold. And if you want some tips on how you can start your travel journey, you can go to their website, seniornomads.com. From there, you can also join their Facebook group to hear from other travelers. Travelers. Oh, Thank cute. you two again. Thank you. We'll Thanks, be right guys. back. You're welcome. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you so yeah. much.